federal judge handing down a five-year sentence to the Boroughville man who stockpiled more than 200 guns and nearly a ton of ammunition in his home. Good evening, I'm Mike Montecalvo. And I'm Shannon Heggie. Emotions were running high in the courtroom. Ronald Andrew Chuck's wife was removed from the courtroom after yelling out as her husband was sentenced to federal prison. 12 News reporter Matt Paddock spoke with the family who shared their disappointment. Matt? Well, Mike Shannon, in federal court where cameras are not allowed, Ronald Andrew Chuck's sentencing became emotionally charged at times, with prosecutors saying he put his community in harm's way. His family arguing he needs help, not years behind bars. He's not a monster. He's not a boogeyman. After 14 months behind bars, 14 months of sobriety, Ronald Andrew Chuck's attitude upbeat in federal court as he smiled and waved to loved ones, signing hearts with his hands to his oldest son. Now his family heartbroken over the judge's decision to sentence him to more than five years in prison. Because of looking at what he was, what he looked like, if you look at that and look at him now, and he's clay-headed, he just needed some help, and evidently, maybe now he'll get it. Andrew Chuck pleading guilty to a legally stockpiling more than 200 guns and 25,000 rounds of ammunition, all in his Burrowville home. In an emotional apology, Andrew Chuck said he regretted all of his actions, his family arguing afterward that his sentence was too harsh. A bad person, sometimes we make poor decisions. You can't always blame drugs because you have a right to use them or not to use them, okay? To get him the help that he needs, not doing punishment in a jail cell. It doesn't U.S. Attorney Zachary Cunha releasing a statement saying Andrew Chuck lied on federal documents, stating he wasn't a narcotics user, while also purchasing 169 guns over a five-month period in 2021. He, need, he got the help that he needed, and the, I know it's not the right place to be, but... He wasn't going to hurt anybody. Andrew Chuck's lawyer not pleased with the judge's decision, sending a statement to 12 News, which reads in part, he accepted responsibility for his crimes, has tackled his substance abuse issues, and is eager to reconnect with his family, community, and career as a social worker. He is also committed to his sobriety and giving up his firearms hobby. For both the Andrew Chucks and their lawyers, the federal government statement, you can find all of those on our website at WPRI.com. Reporting live in studio, Matt Paddock, 12 News. Well, five plus years in prison, that's the sentence handed down today against a Burville man with hundreds of weapons in his home. We've been tracking the case of Ronald Andrew Chuck for more than a year. 12 News reporter Matt Paddock talked to Andrew Chuck's family outside of federal court following his sentencing. Matt? Well, Shannon, in federal court where cameras are not allowed, Ronald Andrew Chuck's sentencing became emotionally charged at times, with prosecutors saying he put his community in harm's way, his family arguing he needs help, not years behind bars. He's not a monster. He's not a boogeyman. An emotional day in federal court, where Ronald Andrew Chuck was sentenced to more than five years in prison after pleading guilty to illegally stockpiling more than 200 guns and 25,000 rounds of ammunition in his Burroughville home. Andrew Chuck apologized and said he regretted all of his actions, but his family argued afterward his sentence was too harsh. A bad person. Sometimes we make poor decisions. You can't always blame drugs because you have a right to use them or not to use them, okay? The feds found Andrew Chuck lied on federal gun forms saying he wasn't a narcotics user. In court, his attitude upbeat as he smiled and waved to loved ones, signing hearts with his hands to his oldest son. Now 14 months sober, his family heartbroken. Because of looking at what he was, what he looked like, if you look at that and look at him now, and he's clay-headed, he just needed some help, and evidently, maybe now he'll get it. After serving his time in prison, Andrew Chuck will be under three years of supervised release. You know what I mean? It's heart heartbreaking to see your brother or a loved one in that situation. You feel helpless. In addition to the federal proceedings, Andrew Chuck is also facing charges in Rhode Island and Massachusetts state courts. Live in studio, Matt Paddock, 12 News.